In football, there's a common move called a header. But if a player heads the ball every day for years, what happens to their brain? Older adults who used to play football are more likely to develop a neurodegenerative disease, also known as a brain disease. If you hurt your brain over and over, parts of it, like memory, can stop working. Researchers knew that professional football players are more likely to get a brain disease. But there are a lot of things that needed more research, like whether your position on the field or how many years you played football made a difference to how likely you are to get a brain disease. So researchers at the University of Glasgow decided to find out more. The researchers looked at the health records of over 30,000 men born between 1900 and 1977. The health records told the researchers whether or not the men had developed a brain disease when they got older. A quarter of the men were professional footballers. The rest had never played football professionally. Some of the professional players had played for nearly 20 years, others for only a couple of years. They all had different positions on the field. This is important because in some positions you head the ball more often. The researchers started looking for patterns in the data. They found that defenders were most likely to get a brain disease. These players do a lot of headers. And footballers who played for more than 15 years were more likely to get a brain disease than footballers who played for less than five years. The researchers wrote up everything they found and published it. It got a lot of people talking and it changed things. Now, young players in Scotland, England and Northern Ireland are not allowed to head the ball in practice. The researchers answered a lot of questions about the connection between football and brain diseases. It's important that we keep asking questions and finding answers so we can better protect our brains.